flow state. Described as a mental state in which a person performing some activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. Every artist strives to reach this state to better their work, yet many struggle. I recently decided to upgrade my workstation and made it my focus to maximize my efficiency to maintain that flow state. In this video, I'll share some things that I learned on the way so that you can make informed decisions about what you need as an artist to unlock your full potential. Firstly, I just wanted to talk about the desk. The sponsor of today's video, Flexispa, actually sent me their E6 standing desk to check out. Standing desks are a must for any serious artist as the health benefits are vast. I particularly love the E6 standing desk just because of how sturdy it is even at max height. I have a ton of heavy hardware, so I needed a standing desk that was not only able to hold all the weight, but also for it to be stable at standing height. I find so many standing desks shake around a ton in standing mode, but this desk handles everything no problem. It can carry up to 352 pounds, which should be plenty for any type of setup. Also, since I have thousands of dollars worth of equipment on my desk, it's very important that the build quality is up to par, and I'm happy to report it exceeds my expectations. The dual motors are super powerful, yet really smooth when adjusting. There are four different memory height buttons, and the desk goes all the way up to 50 inches. There is also a 15-year warranty, so you can be rest assured in case anything happens. They offer a ton of great shapes and designs so you can fit it into any decoration style. I absolutely love the way the walnut top looks on my setup and I get excited to work there every single day. Having a good foundation to your setup is super important for maintaining your work. Being able to be flexible is hugely important for maintaining your flow state and less distractions the better. That's why I highly recommend you consider a standing desk just so you can not have to worry about positioning yourself based on what you're doing and makes you focus on your work which really matters. If you're interested in picking up this desk or any other configuration from the FlexSpot lineup, I'll have a link in the description and pinned comment down below to get started. Thanks again to FlexSpot for sponsoring this video, but now let's talk about the chair. Now when you do have to sit, it's very important that you make sure you have a very comfortable chair. I'll have the one that I use along with all of the other specifications of my setup in the descriptions for those who are interested. Like desks, these should be flexible enough to where you don't even have to think about them. The idea I found that worked for me is to find a desk and chair combination that will allow you to work in whatever position you need. For me, I constantly switch between using a mouse and drawing on a tablet and sometimes I don't even realize I adjust my setup to match. It really does just come naturally to me and my brain is focused on my work and so the desk and chair mimic that constantly changing nature. At the end of the day, this really comes down to you as an artist. Now with all of the ergonomics out of the way, let's get into some of the tech. First are the two monitors. The top monitor is a old gaming monitor I had, and the bottom one is a Huion Canvas 22 Plus drawing tablet. Now multiple monitors are a must in my opinion just because of how much stuff that we can fit on the screen. Most of the time I like to use the top monitor for all of my settings and then the bottom one for color and picture so that I can see everything fully. It's really important to be close to your monitor so you can really see everything in full detail. I'd recommend you look for a drawing tablet as a second monitor as it's greatly helped me in the past and certain things are just faster with a pen. Again, anything to make my workflow faster to where I'm not held back is what I'm really looking for. I was actually sent this drawing tablet by Huion for a previous video, however I highly recommend you check it out as I am in love with it. I'll have an affiliate link down below if you are curious about the one that I use. Next is for my workstation. Here are all the specs on the screen now. Of course, this is most likely where you're going to be spending most of your money. Personally, I look at desktops as investments just because having a good machine that can accomplish what you need it to fast directly translates to my ability to get clients and turn around projects. I've had multiple times where I could take on multiple clients at once just because I knew that my PC could handle the fast turnarounds. GPUs are typically good for 3D intensive workloads and CPUs are important for pretty much everything. Of course, depending on what programs you use as well as what you do as an artist, it will influence how powerful of a machine that you need to get. For me, I needed both a good GPU and a CPU just because I deal with a ton of 3D applications as well as up to 8K footage. Personally, I wish I had invested in better tech earlier in my career as I remember running into countless problems which caused me to not enjoy my work as much and getting burnt out. Not only does it make everything faster, but it also removes a barrier that gets in the way of your creative. There will be a moment when you learn a program enough that you won't even have to think about the technical aspects of it anymore. The worst thing to happen that will bring you out of that flow state is technical hiccups such as crashing or slowdowns. I don't feel like a lot of people talk about it, but that frustration of waiting for a render or things taking forever to load actually harms you as an artist more than anything, just because it limits the amount of creative decisions that you can make in any given amount of time. The thing I've come to realize for me as an artist is that the more I don't have to worry about the technical side of things, the more I can put my time and focus into the creative side of things, and at the end of the day, that has really helped my work. 
I know a lot of people say it's the artist and not the machine. However, a good artist realizes a good machine can lead to better art. Also, PCs offer some of the quickest return on investments, and so I would definitely consider future-proofing your setup as much as possible. Wrapping up, let's quickly talk about everything else. Over the years, I've realized good peripherals are more necessary than others say. We always use mouse and keyboards, and after bouncing around a few, I've landed on ones I love. Again, the goal for me is to make everything not get in the way of my work, and so Bluetooth is the way to go. Freeing up clutter can make all the difference in the world when you use them for hours on end. Good headphones are also great. I love listening to music when I work and I find it really helps me focus and reach that flow state. There's a moment when the music turns on and I kick into gear that I feel like I'm fully invested into my work. I also recommend thinking about your lighting for your setup. I find warm lighting in a darker room helps eliminate distractions. Finally, I like to make sure the temperature of the room is warm which helps relax my muscles and calms myself. A calm mind is a must for entering that flow state. Hopefully all of this has been helpful as you look to see what you need to make a career out of digital art. Again, the more we can customize our setup in order to get to that flow state, the better our artwork will be. Thanks again to today's sponsor Flexify. You can check them out and everything else I use in the description below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.